Sir Brady. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm Paris Reynoldson. Uh, I'm from Wellington, New Zealand, and uh, I make a YouTube channel called Sir Brady. Hey! 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 Hey, Paris. How many subscribers do I have? At the moment, I have 435. Uh, and none of them are fake accounts, so I think I'm doing pretty well so far. It was kind of a mix of things. When I was uh, about about 10 years old, I was making sort of home-made films with my cousin and my brother, and then I started just sort of getting really into it at the time, and on YouTube at the time was people like Fred and this Australian guy called Mike Choni, and they were like, oh, yeah, they were hilarious to me, and I thought, I want to be like them. So in about 2012, I started posting top 10 videos, which I would make on Windows uh, Live Movie Maker. Uh, and then it was just sort of all those things came together. And then one day I was like, I'll just, I'll just do it. I'll just make YouTube videos. And so I just put all those pieces together. Yeah. Um, my fans, they do and don't exist. So I got a lot of friends, obviously, who watch my stuff and they can't watch certain videos depending on what it is so if I'm playing a character and, and in the videos where it's me it's kind of not there's like a characteristic there's like a persona on top of that so this is me talking generally now but if I was doing a video I'd be like hey guys what's going on yeah Paris here let's get into the video hey guys welcome back to Sir Brady hey you yeah you Merry Christmas ah, I don't really so there's like a spike in that but my fans uh, I'll tell you, there was a little girl the uh, year before last, so 2016, and I was in New World going shopping, and I felt this tug on my jersey and looked down, and it's this little six, seven year old girl, and she was like, Are you the YouTube guy? And I was like, uh, Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm the YouTube guy. And she went, Oh, yeah, I, wa I watch your videos, you're really, really, really funny. And then her mum started walking towards me, and I'm this like big six foot guy talking to this little girl. And she looked like she was gonna just like smash me for talking to this little girl. But yeah, so they do and don't exist. So yeah, they're pretty cool, they're cool. So I, it's, it's varied over the time, like I said, I started in about 2012, so I've been there for about five, six years now. Um, but nowadays they sort of vary between movie reviews, vlogs on certain trips I've been on. I do a news show called Five Things You Missed. Uh, I also do skits and short films. So a lot of it's sort of, it's sort of, uh, I also do voiceovers, so it's really dependent on how busy I am. If I'm not busy, I try my best to get a short film under wraps and like get all that done. Uh, but when I'm really busy, it's just off the cuff. I have a week to do something, I'm like, shit, what can I do? Um, I'll make a voiceover. So it's, it's a mix between uh, sort of films and like vlog. Yeah, well, I, as, a young, as a young kid, I was always quite uh, talkative, you know, I was that sort of talkative kid and was always trying to get attention from parents. So, w I'm definitely confident, you know, I, I was, I used to lead Kapahaka, uh, you know, this white boy. It was like, come mate, come mate, you know, like mispronouncing everything, but I would lead it because I just had a really loud voice. Uh, when I was, yeah, it, it sort of, it just stems from my childhood when I was like five, six, seven. I was always in like the school shows and I was always that kid that was trying to get to the front. Like, get out of my way. <laughs> like, me. So yeah, from then it sort of stemmed into like the arrogance turned into just sort of a confidence. And um, yeah, the YouTube, the YouTube channel sort of just became a, a place where I could just be expressive without really being judged. You know, I locked myself in my room and I turn on the camera and I'm just like, hey, you know, let's talk about movies or whatever. So yeah, definitely. It's, it's definitely Robin Williams. And it's not just now, he's been like an inspiration since I think, you know, I loved Aladdin as a kid, but Robin Williams is one of those people that, uh, the thing about, I love improv, and what Robin Williams can do is just you give him an idea and he's just, his thought, he thinks like 10 times fast and he'll grab, like you'll be in a conversation and you may mention something and he'll take that thing that you may have said and he'll evolve it. And someone like him, and be able to think on your feet like that is incredible to me. So Robin Williams is like, and you can see it in any like outtakes I have in my videos. Like I'm just like talking nonsense and just like flabbing on. So Robin Williams is up there, and yeah, you know, his he did these uh, charity events with Whoopi Goldberg and Billy Crystal, and the three of them together is just like that's incredible. Yeah, so Robin Williams. Don't honestly don't start a YouTube channel, but what you should do is definitely make content for the internet. Uh, 
the internet's ever evolving. YouTube has been up and down in the past couple of years. I don't like to call myself a YouTuber, I like to say content creator because I put my stuff on Insta, I put my stuff on Facebook. Um, but definitely go for it if, if you have something specific and don't think you need to just do the trans man. It's the, it's the water, water bottle flip challenge, dab dab on the haters. Like you don't need to do what is popular now. If you start evolving your craft and you look at other things that you enjoy, work on those things and they end up becoming what your fan base enjoys. So go for what you like. Don't try and replicate what other people have made online because it just, it's not you. It's not true to what YouTube is, which is broadcast yourself. So yeah, that's my advice. Uh, subscribe? <laughs> <laughs> subscribe link, link to sub link. Hey guys, link below to my video. Smash that like button. That's right, smash that like button. No, uh, is there anything else I want to say? Um, I'm gonna be inspirational. Oh, yes. okay.